Hi, my name is Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services. Today, I'd like to talk to you about caching for your website in Imperva's Cloud Web Application Firewall, or Cloud WAF. Let's get logged into the console, and I'll show you what we want to talk about today. As we get signed in, we're going to choose Applications from the top menu. We're going to choose the specific website that we're interested in setting caching for. And then on the left-hand side, we're going to choose a subcategory of the CDN and cache. At the very top of this page, we have the purge cache settings, and we'll talk about that in just a minute as we work through the actual cache modes that we can choose. You have a no caching mode, and it's just as the name implies, nothing is cached. You have a custom caching mode you can select. This will depend on the custom cache rules that you have. Um, if you wanted to create some specific rules around caching things based on a client ID or if a cookie exists or if the header exists, you have these different values you can create custom rules. But that's an in-depth conversation for another time. If you don't have any custom rules created and you selected custom caching as your mode, that would be the same as no caching at all. Standard caching mode relies on your developer to put in the tags for the caching requirements for each of your resources that you're serving. Uh, a hybrid of that would be custom caching, uh, excuse me, smart caching. Smart caching uses those uh, header values to cache the content that has been marked for caching and in addition to that, it does some profiling of static content and will cache the static content based on that profiling for the duration that you specify. The default here is five minutes. Or the last mode we can choose is cache all. Now, caching is a good idea because uh, as Imperva scrubs traffic and allows only clean and validated and um, uh, real user traffic or good bot traffic to your website, you can save on bandwidth. And that's important for a lot of your hosted resources. Um, if there is ever a chance that you need to purge that cache, like I mentioned before, we can come up and we can purge the cache, all of it, if we wanted to, that Imperfa is holding on to, or we can cache specific resources. And those resources can be specified either by a tag um, or by a string uh, that you can set here and then clear those cache uh, cached items. Um, also provided by Imperva is uh, an x-ray access URL. Uh, this will add some of Imperva's um, custom headers to uh, the response headers and allow you to do some troubleshooting. Um, things like uh, the cache duration header can be included, uh, the TTL, the cache key, um, the cache level, the pop that you're coming from, uh, that the content is being served from. So those are important things to know about this particular page. One other item that I would mention is kind of a neat shortcut is that um, if you visit your site and you want to see which pop you are being served content from, you can add this string to the end of your URL and it should display back uh, the pop location uh, from which you are being served that content. Join me next time as we get even more in depth. Thanks for watching.